Styling your home is the most difficult part of making a room look complete, and styling is the way to display your items you've collected and love. I have two universal ideas that will be easy for you to do this fall season. Before we get into the video, I want to share some exciting news. At Home Stores has named me one of their top lifestyle and decor bloggers, along with some pretty other talented bloggers you may already follow. The other great news is I'm in their mailer. That's right, you get to have me in your home. So be on the lookout for your mail because the mailer has some pretty fantastic Christmas decor like they do every year. And I'm also American Signature Style Insiders, which is such an honor because 95% of the furniture in my home has American Signature furniture in it. And the latest kitchen set is right here. I'll have the deets in another video. So I wouldn't be here without you guys. So I wanna thank you all for your love and support. And there's gonna be more to come, you guys. I get tons of questions from you guys about how to begin to style your table. There's five rules you can follow to style your console table, your coffee table, or your side table, and that's shape, color, height, and texture, and negative space. Reinforce your color palette, and you can do this without spending a ton of money and shopping for specific pieces. Paint your existing furniture like I did. First, take a look at your color scheme of what's already in the space. This console table is from American Signature Furniture, and that's where I got all of my furniture in my home, well, mostly all of it. Originally, this was all black, but I love the H mirror on the table, so I customized the piece to fit my furniture and accent pieces by faux painting it to match my accessories. Add function where it's needed. I added two lamps and they are from Pier 1 and I purchased them about four or five years ago and I believe they are discontinued. The lamp bases are clear which reflects the light and the shades pull in a hint of bling that plays off the mirror and the knobs on the console table. The colors on the table will guide the color palette of my accessories. I always like to use some sort of flower arrangement to soften the look. I took a dough bowl and turned it into a planter using the same technique that I did on my dining room table and I will link that down below. The only difference is I added moss balls and I love that it's rustic and it adds another layer of texture. If you have to shop for some accessories, get pieces that are multifunctional. This dough bowl is the perfect example. Get creative and add some greenery. Typically, I don't like to cut my greenery because I like to use it in so many other ways. So I just bend the ends and place them in the bowl. And then I added a grouping of battery operated candles and a pumpkin pick and pine cones. And you can even add succulents, fruit and vegetables. It can be the perfect centerpiece at the Thanksgiving table. Styling a console table on the lower shelf can be very tricky sometimes because you need items just the right scale and height for it to fit. I added a large white gourd in the middle that's from TJ Maxx. I purchased that at the end of the season last year and various sizes of pumpkins and pine cones around it. I also placed a basket I already had on the side because it makes the perfect catch-all for blankets, throws, your children's toys, or dog toys. I removed my planter off my side table and replaced it with these adorable tea light owls with glasses. The owl is ceramic and the glasses are iron. They are whimsy and fun and they are beautiful at night and you can get them from Pier 1. So I hope you took away some great tips and I will have more inspiration videos coming your way and I want to thank you all for watching.